Hello there. It's Mac, and welcome to the first episode of my playthrough series for Prey. Now, this is Prey from 2017, developed by Arcane Studios, Arcane Austin to be specific. These guys made Prey back in 2017. They also made the short lived, ill fated uh, Redfall uh, from, I believe, 2023. I'm going to do uh, a playthrough of the a campaign from start to finish. And if I like what I played, I'll probably jump into the Moon Crash DLC, which I hear is excellent. I've been really looking forward to playing this game again, I should say. I first played it on the PS4. I did not like how poorly it performed on that older console. And then uh, now the game is available on... Uh, Xbox Game Pass, which is uh, what I'm playing it on now. Well, technically, I did buy the game. It's on super, super, super deep discount with my Game Pass subscription. So I was a bit of a weirdo, and I just decided to just buy the game for a few bucks, along with the uh, DLC. It's a good deal. And I'm playing on the Xbox Series S. So I'm actually uh, making some assumptions. I'm assuming that the game's going to run at a higher frame rate than 30. I haven't really tested it out. I'm going in pretty cold on uh, this version of the game. But uh, as you can see here, we don't have any options. We don't have any video options. This is very old school. This is very old school uh, video settings menu for, for our current game. But, uh, you know, the game is a little bit older itself. Uh, it's 2017 is quite some time ago. Everything else we're pretty much going to leave on default. I did do some uh, adjustments to the audio levels. But apart from that, oh, I think we are good to go. Now, this is uh, a bit of a remake or reimagining of the original Prey that came out in the early 2000s. I believe it was... Correct me if I'm wrong. I, I believe it was 3D Realms who did the original Prey. Uh, and it's a very, very different game very much a product of the early 2000s first-person shooter uh, industry and uh, a completely different protagonist a completely different universe and storyline is what I've is what I know about this current iteration so yeah let's dive right in as usual I'm going to be silent uh, for all cutscenes I'm going to let all cutscenes play without me talking over it as well as any dialogue between uh, characters. I'll try my best to also read all um, audio, uh, read all, pardon me, text logs, and any, any bits of uh, lore that come up in the game. Cool. And I will be playing on normal difficulty. Oh, there is like a super easy difficulty level. So story, easy, normal, hard. And we even got Nightmare. Nothing can save you. Go on normal. Survival mode options is a set of optional modifiers to make the game more challenging. Warning! These options cannot be changed beyond the screen. Not recommended for inexperienced players. I'm not an inexperienced player, but I'm inexperienced with Prey, so I'm going to leave this off. And I guess you can kind of tune things if you select the survival mode options. Okay, that seems pretty pretty cool. But I'm gonna turn that off. Maybe, maybe for our second playthrough if I'm if I'm so inclined, somewhere down the line, but very doubtful. Oh snap, look at that. So we have our uh, protagonist. I imagine this is uh this is me and I get to choose male or female. And uh the protagonist is Asian. Which, uh, which, frankly, really surprised me. When I first saw the uh, trailer, the first trailer for this game, they showed uh, Mu looking into the mirror, and I was like, "Oh shit, it's an Asian uh, main character." It's refreshing. Refreshing for a Western developed game, I should add. Uh, Lady Me is quite attractive. But I'm actually gonna just uh, be male. Be a male. <laughs> I like his facial hair. Uh, this is 
I could never grow this amount of facial hair in a million years. It's quite sad. Now entering your apartment. You wake up in your apartment in the year 2032. It's not that far off. <laughs> Maybe back in 2017, it was like far off enough. But now, no. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. You. So is that my dad or some kind of family relation? Put on your trans star uniform. First day on the job. I mean, within seconds, I'm already loving the uh, the mood and the world building in this game. Oh shoot! Look at that. Nothing in the nightstand. Oh. A plus for any first person game that allows me to look down at my own body. Huge, huge bonus points. All right. Yeah, it's uh, pretty smooth. Smooth enough, I should say. Compared to the PS4, which was kind of a janky feeling. Herky jerky. Oh no, no. No, oh, I want to put it back. Okay, I have to throw it back onto the shelf, maybe. <laughs> Very uh, immersive sim, and this that this is what the game is, right? This is an immersive sim. Immersive sim slash action adventure, you know. Plastic tubing. <laughs> okay. And I can pick up the the box as well. Cool. Oh, this is gonna be a game of just picking up everything, isn't it? I can already tell. Burn circuit board, you know, picking up and climbing everything. This hand icon is gonna haunt me. Speech synthesis and natural language generation. Excerpt from chapter three of Speech Synthesis and Natural Language Generation by Sebastian Smythe. Voice, conver voice conversion technology enables synthesis systems to generate speech patterns based on their source or entirely new voices without the need for exhaustive recordings and pre-processing. The quality of the resulting voice depends on the training data as well as the precision of the conversion function and limitations in processing power. Got some frayed wire. I wonder how they work uh, out encumbrance in this game. Pay. <laughs> Pizza. So I guess the first big like puzzle is like, do you know the password to your own uh, computer? That's a tutorial. <laughs> workstations. Many transfer employees have private workstations. Lock stations require a password. Search the environment for clues or use the hacking ability to bypass the login. Workstations may contain email, files to download or special utilities. Oh, it's, it's automatic, which is good. This time, anyway. I love how it, does, it doesn't transition to a specialized UI to show me reading email and stuff. Really like that. And not enough games do this. 
Okay, this email from Thomas Tucker to me, CCing Alex U. Congrats and welcome. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you'll be coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises we run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you for life in orbit. Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight, and I will see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talos One Research Facility. Delivery from Alex Yu. Hey, I sent a package with everything you'll need for your first day. Uniform, transcribe, and a neuromod. Install the neuromod right away, as we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch, Alex. Ready? From Alex Yu. Hey, I got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there with the shuttle de departs. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stuff. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside her gravitational pull at the same time. You said you'd be you said you'd better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everyone's excited about your ideas up there, so get ready. I'll probably call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very, very soon, Morgan. Okay, they're brothers, and just from these two emails, like, excellent, uh, laying down excellent foundation for me to understand the relationship between uh, myself and my brother. So that's really good. Very natural sounding uh, email. Hands on electronics. Excerpt from the preface to hands on electronics by Antoinette Sokol. Sokol, pardon me. Uh, by working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Did he actually say that? Climb it. So excited for my first day, jumping up for joy. All right, let's uh, put on the uh, suit before we move on. I'm all zipped up. Next objective, get in the helicopter on the roof. Huh, not before I explore every inch, every last inch of my uh, apartment, people. Love the view. Can I go outside? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it's jammed. Boo. Amazing. I, I haven't got this fixed. Oh. I mean, I prefer not to live in the big city these days, but if I did, I totally want to live in a place that has a deck like this. High up, way high up. Okay. Oh, I need, <laughs> I cannot carry the couch, I'm too weak. Oh, we got a game controller here. I can't uh, use it. To the floor, everything goes on the floor, it seems. <laughs> I threw it by accident. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's see if test myself. I actually place my back properly on a shelf. Ugh. <laughs> oh my goodness, a lot of reading. Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. Excerpt from Principles of Neuroscience, 10th edition. The brain was once considered too warm, wet, and noisy for seemingly delicate quantum processes. However, the discovery of quantum coherence in biological processes such as plant biosynthesis, aviation navigation, and our own sense of smell paved the way for the eventual discovery of quantum vibrations inside the microtubules of neurons. Consciousness, the fire in the equations. The nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can this subjective nature of experience, my inner life, be explained in scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex computations among brain neurons? 
or is it a fundamental and irreducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? I like the questions the game's asking already. Midnight Song, the classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. Okay. This is a poem on the stork, on the stork tower by Wang Ji Huang Huan. And I can't read it. Hey. This happy family. <laughs> Look at the face on. I assume it's our dad. And I guess we're um, biracial. Judging from how my mom looks. I'm definitely the most handsome in the family. So I'm going to have to drop on the floor now because I can't uh, deliberately place things anywhere. Always got to flush a toilet. That's a, that's a good video game toilet flush. Shower stall looks a little grimy, but realistic. Look at all the ties just hanging there. I thought I ran into something. Okay, we uh, already... Okay, I was going to be like, I got to turn the sink off. Wasting water. Cannot look into the mirror. Okay, doors work. Check. Save some... Save on hydro here. <laughs> Kings and way sparkling wine. Oh, I can just take it. I was about to drink it, but since my first day at work... Play not a good idea. The method dot sigh. What if I told you I could turn you into a mathematician on the level of Einstein in under 10 minutes? I'd say you're full of it. That's the first thought that crosses my mind, but it withers in face of Alex Yu's conviction. Despite myself, I'm riveted. He's not bullshitting me. Himself, maybe. Me, no. Alex leans back in his chair. Welcome to the age of the Neuromod. Interesting. Congrats. Congrats, Morgan. Alex. I got you to take the note. And let's breeze through the kitchen here. Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Transglutaminase, TG or TG ACE, a natural occurring enzyme found in plants, animals, and bacteria. TG is often used to bond protein containing foods together in the production of foods such as imitation crab meat and fish balls, known colloquially by chefs as meat glue. Chef Shaw's tip gluing chicken skin to salmon will actually protect the outside of the salmon from overcooking. Hey. Okay, so I do have limited inventory space, and I like how they've uh, visually represented that. Very, very nice. I'm liking how everything's laid out and designed so far. We got sun-dried tomato jerky, a bag of vegan jerky made from jam, yeah, jam on tomatoes. How you say it? it? Restores five health points. Yeah, I gotta take that. Yamon or Jamon? I don't know. Is it like a soft J? A bag of emergency glucose, which was five health points. I'll take that. Everything is restoring health. Sky King Pomegranate, a blue pomegranate engineer to thrive in conditions aboard Talos 1. Hell yeah. Cold Mountain Green Tea, a refreshing can of cold brew green tea by Transtar Kitchens, another five health points. I feel like we're gonna need a lot of these to recover some health when we're out there in the field. But I think we're done going through the kitchen. Oh, one more book. Heart of the Walk. 
Cooking with a well-seasoned wok can be a sublime, almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all the meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel bowl before. Now imparting echoes of their rich flavor to every new meal it is tasked to cook. You're here. Oh, yeah, like red, red packet, red pocket. I think we're done. Can I crouch? Oh, yes, I can. B button on the Xbox controller to crouch. And it shows that you'll be in stealth. You're crouching. I think we're good. I think we're good to leave the house. Looks like I don't need this. Hey, I could put it back on the uh, bench. Amazing. Can't just walk into my neighbor's uh Morning, suite. Mr. You. Hi. Patricia. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Huh. You'll have to take the elevator. Down the hall. But you know that, I guess. <laughs> yes. One West, 63rd Avenue, Tower B. Notes from building management. Water pressure issues have been identified and are being resolved. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. It's a fancy building. They have like uh, bolt-ins just posted on a huge uh, widescreen monitor like this. Aren't you going to be late? Yeah, I should get going. These things can be tricky, you know? Oh, you can slide while sprinting. Don't mind me, Patricia. I don't expect you could run and slide like that in this type of game. I expect that from like a action shooter, you know? Roof. Only two options. Oh my goodness, they even know mine. They even know who's in the elevator. Morgan, you. Let me go into other people's homes. Hey, I'm a VIP. Look at me. Oh, wow. Did the geometry just sort of like blink in to existence then? Drag of a commute to our uh, first day in a job. Mr. Oh, you, guys, if I please make like yourself this, comfortable okay. and we'll be on our way. Transit on facility is just a short hop. 78 degrees, clear skies all the way. Oh, they have the credits on the outside. Did you fly through, they have the game credits. Oh my goodness, that's clever. Am I supposed to look elsewhere to get more? I think I have like the game title just to... Oh my god, look at that. That's a nice view <laughs> on the bay there. Man, these guys were flexing. Selection. That's just me though. It's not bad. It's not bad, uh. There we go. <laughs> Pray. It's not a bad song, but it's, yeah, I don't know. It's sort of. It almost sounds like Muzak. Pray. Here we are, Mr. Yu. Mind the glass on the way out. 
Good luck to you. Thank you. Find the rotary blades as well. Report to the test center. And then once you step out, the uh, the prey letters are gone, of course. <laughs> So far, yeah, I'm digging the uh, the attention to detail and the the design flex they put into uh, the game. It's really nice. Hello, Doctor Hugh. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Can they tell me more? My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry, nothing will be missed. Everyone's eager to see what you're capable of, Dr. Hugh. I know I am. Welcome, Morgan Yu. You have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Please confirm. Morgan, finally. Am I late? <laughs> Orientation, welcome Morgan Yu. That's me. So, I'm here. Okay, looks like a <laughs> clean shaven Asian game Newell. <laughs> Who'd I talk to? Okay. Hey. Oh, I think I'm right up to him. You don't, you don't look, look terrible, terrible in the transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I have to test my seeing a little unconventional, but that's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. This is you. They're ready for your brother in Wu Mei. Right. Listen. Just be yourself. I'll see you after. I wish I could show you what I've been working on. You better get in there before Bellamy gets impatient. Through here? No. If you, you make, make your, your way, way into room A. Room A? Thank you. <laughs> Bye, big bro. I'm scared. What if I told you I could turn you into a method? Okay, we already read this. Same excerpt. Testing rooms. Room A. Hey, guys. Good morning, Morgan. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Like how fast I do it has any bearing on anything. I'm just, I try to do it as quickly as possible. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. So, got a crouch somewhere? I just crutch around the chair in the shadow. Look, is he? He's, He's hiding, hiding behind, behind the chair. chair. Hmm. Uh, any synaptic register? 
Should I everybody move no. in the corner? <laughs> no. No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. <laughs> Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I don't like that there's two red lights so far for both tests. <laughs> Am I failing? All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. So you gotta press this blue button over here. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Simon? I installed exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Jeez. This is weird. Can someone, someone get me a cup of coffee? coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. I wanted to say that the way they designed the faces in this game is kind of reminiscent of how characters look Whatever in ready, Dishonored. There's a bit of that style that's kind of seeping over into this game. Uh, let's press the start button. <sighs> if you plan a vacation, go somewhere familiar you know, you love, or try something new. New. Good. Looks like you got the hang of it. <laughs> Keep going. I can make decisions. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Afraid. I don't know what will happen. Angry. No one has that right. Calm. It was worth it. It was worth it. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. <laughs> A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can call the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Um, I would be proactive. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Oh, jeez. Almost done. The runaway train again. Runner train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. <laughs> I gotta push the fat man. <laughs> you know what? I probably oh my say God. Well, well done. done. Well done. <laughs> We're nearly through it. Come For this on, next man. part, I'm going to display an image. I, I want, want you to take a good look, look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what. Uh, where's my coffee? It's empty. Oh, oh crap. Oh, oh, yeah. Keep going. Keep going. What's happening? What, 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 what happened to his head? His, uh, his head got scullified. What the hell happened? He gasped me. Oh, just what's going on? Alex. So what's... What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032.
way to deal with time shifts in this game now? Is it gonna be like time travel involved? Or is it more about just like what is real, what is not? What Stinger. Soundtrack here. Oh, we got six emails to sign. Oh, danger, leave now. From January. E EOM. Scope the place out first. Hmm? Back into the music. Same note. Yeah, the music just kind of cut out for you suddenly. That is doing everything all over again. Literally just doing everything all over again. But I don't pick up uh, the note here. Okay, let's uh, let's get out. Okay, hallway's dark now. Oh shit. Okay, this is all going on all going on in my head. Must be. Flashlight. Ooh, it's very bright. Oh, the layout of this floor is different too. Does the flashlight have a crappy battery or can I just leave it on indefinitely? Seems like I can just leave it on. Okay, first weapon. we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. Break out. I need a heavy swing. Jesus, what happened to you? Some plastic tubing on her. I can carry her? Okay, she's just ragdolling around. Okay, let's uh, try this door. There's my apartment. I may need to go back in there. I'm gonna get out of this place. Oh, look at that. The facade. Get out of town, man. <laughs> it's all fake. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Oh my goodness. Sound stage rules. Absolute silence when simulation is in progress. Do not enter stage unless in costume. Do not interact with subject off script. Sound stage A reminders. Always reset the position of stage props in apartment after each test. Replacements for damaged props can be found in a storage area. Be careful not to bump glass when in observation zones. 
Sounds HB reminders. The helicopter ride looking glass sequence should only be reset in the overlooking control room. Make sure to clear the rooftops of any stray objects during the simulated flight. Always return the helicopter to its ready position after being serviced. I am a big time guinea pig and what are the hell is they're doing here and it's quite <laughs> it's quite alarming and is my brother behind all this? Man. Okay. Let's to go to the end of the hallway here. area. I have a feeling I'm just gonna be like crafting a few things here and there, so I'm just picking up everything I can. Speaking of which, uh, item stack, so that's good. Yeah, I wanted to check on that real quick. Stack up all the wine. Yes, I am. Okay. Just want to make sure. Uh, uh. What was that? What's my objective? Just get to the main lobby. So I can do a quick save, or do like an actual save. Look at a new save slot. Nice. Save anywhere. What a novel. Oh, oh shit. That kind of scared me. Corpse? So Typhon Organ. Typhon Organs contain exotic material which is used to fabricate neuromods. 9mm bullets, a box of 9mm bullets, and a mimic tumor. A random clump of matter formed as a byproduct of mimic transformation. I can't take it. Why can't I take it? Mimic. Warning, do not open door while simulation is in progress. My mind is racing as to what it is they're trying to achieve here. Uh, I can I can get through here. Okay. I can get through here and leave the uh, get to the lobby. But I haven't explored this floor, this entire floor yet. And there is battery juice of my flashlight. Unfortunately, I hate it when games do that. Just let me leave the flashlight on if I if I so choose. Cause it's not it's not realism. <laughs> Cause the the battery just uh, recharges within seconds. I really don't understand that this kind of a battery, flashlight battery uh, limitation. Okay. This observation area. Oh gosh. Can I find anything out on the uh, computer here? Evelyn McCarthy from Sylvain Bellamy to Evelyn McCarthy. Daily tests. 
If you've been on branches of our main product line, you know that sometimes we need to put in extra effort to hit our milestones and any external risks are fully taken into account when these decisions are made. The move to extend indefinitely was a direct result, direct request from both Alex and Morgan. Sylvain Bellamy. Replying to Evelyn's email, Dr. Bellamy. At this point, Morgan's exhaustion is inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. That's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely inflicting from the constant Neuromod installation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. A note about this morning from Alex to the Neuromod division. Oh, I know this morning's incidents has, le has left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Ms. Elazar and her security team are on high alert and will field any requests you have. I know some of you are worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in the trauma center and is in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Are you kidding me, Alex? Dr. Bellamy looked super dead after he was attacked by the mimic. Super dead. Auto events. Refer to test run program for timing of audio events. Note, pigeon visuals, visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the render data. Hey, Morgan. Oh, Wake man. Up. Burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't, Don't forget, forget to wear your suit. suit. See you soon. Oh, listen, I uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Let's get the helicopter arrival. Okay, yeah. I guess it sounds like a helicopter. Pigeon test. <laughs> All right, I think that's it. Yeah. So you can interact with it like like here, or you can just go into the examination mode, which zooms you in. Note. Activity log. February 22nd, 2035. Oh, 2035? Sleeping. Wakes up, turns off alarm. Checks transcribe. On computer, various tasks. Takes shower. Puts on uniform, exits apartment. Wait, I thought it was 2032. That's what they told me, anyway. This wrench is such a callback to Half-Life. It's not even funny. Ooh, just destroy this screen. Okay. Is a mimic nearby? The safe code is, I can't read it. Something is rustling around. Or it's just a machine malfunctioning. I have a note here. Delivery for debrief. Manufacturing order number 65489, deliver to Mark Simmons from fabrication department. Marking this entire SKU as defective. Investigate with fabrication, Marco. Okay, another computer. Well, here we go. I don't have a passcode, I have to come back. Oh, here we go. Take the note. Here we go. ICOP 0876. And now that I know that, oh, I'm actually just entered for me, eh? Here we go. A 
Okay, reminder about company password policy from Danielle Show to Marco Simmons. This is just a friendly reminder from the relevant portion of the policy handbook. Password protection, do not share your password with anyone. Passwords are sensitive, sensitive confidential information. Passwords must not be inserted into email messages, transcribed conversations, or other forms of communication. Do not write down passwords and store them anywhere in your office. Oops. If you suspect your password has been compromised, report it to IT immediately. Users will be held responsible for any activity that occurs on our workstation that has been compromised and not reported. We see the same note about this morning and bad install from Alex Yu. Simmons, the test results today were all negative. Did you install the correct neuromods? Touch base with Graves and figure out what went wrong. This should be your absolute highest priority. Alex seems to run a tight ship. Doesn't take cramp. We need a way to get into the safe here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. How uh, we're gonna find out the password for the safe. Briefing. There's so much to uh, kind of look at. Oh shoot! Now you tell me about the wrench. <laughs> that was sudden. The Hephaestus hefty twist and loop handle wrench is standard issue for all maintenance personnel employed in transfer facilities. Good for liberal application of percussive maintenance and mechanical agitation. Use right trigger to swing your wrench. Important, press and hold right trigger to charge your attack for maximum damage. All wrench attacks will drain your stamina. Okay, this is just like a hint, hint. You're gonna need to use your wrench right about now. Yeah, I was just, I was just in the middle of saying that uh, there's so much to explore, even though the space is relatively small. And then, yeah, we make it back into my apartment. All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's get out of here now. I'm ready to leave now. Yeah, here we go. Just exits there. Elevator probably doesn't work because it's fake. Or is it? Yeah, it's just busted. Because it's not an actual elevator. Oh shit. Yeah, here's where they, uh, did the whole song and dance with the uh, helicopter ride. That's crazy. If I have to fight, like, Black Ops. Marines or something in this game, I'm gonna laugh. Because <laughs> it's gonna be too much like Half Life, if you ask me. I hope not. I hope it's more of a uh, fighting those uh, black, gooey, uh, mimic creatures. That'd be more interesting, I think.
still too dark though. An error has occurred. The current application has failed. System whatever has been interrupted. Follow the system reboot procedure to terminate application. Okay, now what we can do. Oh, okay, email. A note about this morning. Okay, same old thing. Utilities. Scene selection. Note authorized scene transition times include when subject or new is inside the elevator during maintenance operations between test runs. Report any technical technical issues immediately to Dr. Sylvain Bellamy. <clears throat> management. Reset the test rooms to current configuration. Oh yeah, I'm gonna leave this for now. Oh shoot. This probably, I need to probably fiddle with this thing in order to get out. That's my guess. Med kit. Quick select. The quick select menu allows you to assign weapons and powers for easy access. The menu button to learn more. Quick select. The quick select menu allows you to quickly alternate between weapons and powers. Assign weapons and powers to the quick select menu by highlighting the items in your inventory. Then press Y to bring up the assigned menu. Assign from your favorite wheels, your favorite's wheel by selecting, then using D-pad, left, right, or down. Because up is for my flashlight. So go into my inventory. I see something moving in the room there. So we got med kit. I gotta assign that to the down. Oh no, this is like, wait a second. I thought I could, uh... It's gonna give me the option to uh, quick select these items that I just not understand the tutorial <laughs> properly. Uh, okay. Or you can just pause the game and just go into your inventory and use whatever item. I assume you can pause by bringing up this menu. That's a little bit weird. It's auto saving for me. Yeah, okay, it's not part of this. Uh, I set up I set up for the helicopter pickup, so Yeah, there's the, the little bugger. Time to pick up plasmas. Stuck in the room. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Oh shoot. Isn't the glass broken? Oh shit. You can't. Yeah, the glass break can just come out. <laughs> Got him. Okay, I can get his organ, but I cannot get the tumor still. I need a, a skill called ne necropsy. Okay. Careful what you pick up. I could just turn into a mimic and attack you, eh? I wonder how common of a occurrence that's gonna be. It could get kind of annoying. <laughs> Note about this morning again. Oh, Morgan's behavior. From uh, Sylvain Bellamy to Zhao Long Heng. Alex has requested all orders go through him after Morgan's outburst at the debrief. Pending a psyche evaluation, Alex indicated he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we. Granted, Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test as expected. But the aggressive response to the same test 
set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests in debriefings and within the test itself. I am one of the principals of this research project, so it's kind of crazy that I'm the one who's being like this guinea pig. Because I'm, I'm undergoing some major serious physical and mental trauma from whatever's happening. And so it's kind of crazy that I, they would put me at risk as one of the uh, principals on the uh, project, you know? There's more than meets the eye, I'm sure. More than meets the eye. Oh. Do we dare take this transcribe? Oh, we're safe. Alex. Simmons? What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's alive. Sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. Got it. Jeez. The lobby. We got a skill recorder and stage beat control room. Uh, not to say seven years is a, that long of a time, but this game is seven years old and it looks great still. They, they went for a more stylized look, and I think that was smart. Smart of them to do that. Like I said about the characters, it's got this dishonored style to it. Oh, there's exit. Okay, I don't want to exit just yet. Do a little bit more exploring. Uh, stage view control room, okay. This is cool. Stage B of the rooftop, helicopter pad. <laughs> Whew, I got a little bit of damage this time. They took off 30 points of health. Damn. There's no blocking which I'm kind of disappointed with. You just have to use spacing and then time your swings. There's no block. Who's uh, Gret Mickelson? Everyone's face turns turns to like freaking hamburger after they get attacked by uh, these mimics. There's another wrench. Simulation scene. Load locales on site. Shoot. Yes. Yeah, I just hit her on the corner and uh, give it a nice whack. They are doing. I'm half, halfway dead now. Okay, what are we dealing with here? Uh, something about power. Turn on the looking glass. Oh, look at that. Badass. There we go. Oh, move the facade. Oh, no, it's back. Oh, no, it's completely... No, 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 it's still... You can kind of see, still see a... Let's try to the glass. Let's put it back to normal. Yeah. Look at that plastic tubing. I'm afraid wire. What will I be able to craft with my frayed wire and tubing? Lord only knows. Trash can? Trash can. Oh, 
Okay, I think... I think I'm done. I think I've explored to my heart's content. It's a strong, uh, screen. Now we can exit. Decontamination. Is that Simmons? No, that's Jovan Gravelovic. And he's super dead now. Oh man, it just multiplied a lot. But just don't. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Thanks for being in the voice in my head. They did a save. I'm gonna do my own manual save right about now after picking up the med kit. Simulation in progress. Only approved items past this point. Oh, sweet. Let's see what we got here. Expired plasma bag. Uh huh? Psy hypo. A psychostimulant that increases the psych potential of an individual when injected restores 60 psi points. Okay, there's like a psi stat. Very cool. All right. This is where I'm going to end the first episode of uh, Prey 2017. Thank you very much for watching. If you've yeah, if you've uh, stayed up to this point, thank you so much. Please do all the YouTube things, like, and consider subscribing if this pleases you. And uh, I'd love to hear what you think about the gameplay so far in the comments. I love reading your comments. So until the next video, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.